Good evening and uh, welcome to Sulevelaza Stadium. I bring you live action of this President's Cup uh, sponsored by Vantage. The FFSA President's Cup 2020, the grand final. We have uh, Blue Eagles uh, taking on Colombo FC. And uh, the atmosphere is uh, building up at uh, Sugatadasa Stadium. We have uh, the two teams, uh, substitutes uh, already on the bench. And the grand finale is uh, scheduled to kick off at uh, 6.30. Blue Eagles who beat uh, Javalene is seen in penalties. Also, Colombo FC making it difficult uh, beating Red Star on penalties. And both the uh, semi finals are uh, taking the same route. And joined uh, in the commentary box uh, by Rahul Madura as well. Rahul uh, looking forward for an entertaining evening. Thank you, Richard. Indeed, what a round of semi finals we had, as you said. Two matches, both going to penalty shootouts, nerve wracking moments. And we can only hope for another amazing day of football as we had that day. And these two teams already have met in the tournament previously. In the final group stage encounter of their group, Colombo took on Blue Eagles. And it was Blue Eagles who came out with the win that day with a 2 nil victory. Karim Dushan on the double. And Colombo will be hoping that they can improve on that performance and ensure that history does not repeat itself as both teams with the chance to lift the inaugural Vantage FFS President's Cup. Yeah, I think on that game, Colombo FC did have a whole lot of chances which they squandered and uh, if they had scored, uh, the whole uh, game would have uh, taken a different turn. However, that would be a good wake-up call for Colombo FC. Yes. As they once again uh, face the uh, Blue Eagles. Welcome to Sugatadasa Stadium, Colombo. For the Vantage, the FFSA Resilience is on fire. Blue Eagles first uh, first to work out. And Colombo the fourth round. Mohamed Rumi will have made the adjustments. And now the Blue Eagles are all waiting for. Blue Eagles and Colombo the fourth round. Either way, it was clear that Colombo FC took that game lightly. It was clear that Colombo FC took that game lightly. Already qualified. That's now... Two teams prepare to walk out of the tunnel for the grand finale. Today's uh, game uh, refereed by the most uh, experienced and uh, FIFA referee Dylan Pereira. We've had uh, several high octane games uh, around the world and uh, one more final for him. And uh, it's good as players will also know what to expect from a referee of his caliber. And he is assisted by TP Hematunga and Sanjeeva Premalal. Both of visual is SM Jeffrey. As uh, the officials make their way. The crowd uh, slowly building up here at Subhadarasa. It's a working day. And the weather too. Impacting the fans uh, getting into the field as the uh, Blue Eagles making their way. Almost uh, unchanged uh, 11 from the semi-final. So is uh, Colombo FC going unchanged. So both teams are uh, going to take uh, no chances in uh, making any substitutes. Yes, now Colombo coming out. 
What a performance it was by the young players in that team. Shabir Rajunia and Raghavan Johar working the new hairstyle for the grand finale. For the king hairstyle. For his sake, the Paul Pogba has which can work for him as well. Well, two teams have been standing down and out for weeks, and here they and are today in front of us to, to witness and give the best of each other. We have the teams of the field and we're waiting for the audience with us today, which are guests to the chief guests and party here at the grand final. The President's Cup 2020 for the Welcome in, in and handshake with both teams. The two teams out on the field. It all, the last two months comes down to this. All those group stage games, all those knockout games. Blue Eagles, the only team in this tournament after that, after New Star were not disqualified, Blue Star, Blue Eagles remain the only team. As the title of the of the President's Cup 2020. Every year, 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 Today, the Vantage is coming forward as the main title sponsor for the Vantage FM Vessel President's Cup 2020, where the 12 20 teams have been battling it out. And here we have the two powerful teams ready to take the trophy home. Vantage is privileged to support the Ball of Sri Lanka and the development of this prestigious sport. You see, chief guests for the evening and the sponsors, along with the officials of the Football Federation of Sri Lanka, being introduced to the Colombo FC team. And then the referees panel. Amanda, we will have five referees on the field. The 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 as well, the two teams will be battling it out for the grand finals of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020. Blue Eagles FC versus Lampo FC. Now the two teams are. Yeah. Three match uh, fist pumps. As you know, all around the world, uh, this is the norm, the new norm before any football match. By the looks of it, Colombo FC, even though in their yellow, they are donning a new jersey. The new design they will be in all yellow, as uh, and uh, Blue Eagles will be in all white. We have a look at the two teams, the Blue Eagles now, Ruan Arunasili, the goalkeeper, Mohamed Zimal, the under-19 player, Lakmar Gunasinghe, the captain, Prashant Fernando, Kamid Dushan, the main man in up front, who had scored the goals for Blue Eagles, Chaturanga Fernando, his partner in the middle, we have Harsha Fernando, a very experienced player, we have Chalna Pramant, another under-19 player, Netno Malshan has been with goals, Madhushan Fernando and Roshan Fernando and leading the 11. This is uh, probably how they will uh, play up on the field. For Palambo FC, goalkeeper Mohamed Imran, the foreign player Mohamed Siapo, veteran Mohamed Fazal, Shabir Rajunia, Niran Kanishka, Zalwan Johar, Ahmad Chazni, Siraj Jain, Mohamed Akib, Afil Mohamed, and led by their skipper Chaitra Ratnayaka. 
This is how Columbo FC will be forming. Uh, there will be probably a slight change. Uh, Shadni might drop in. Akib uh, will go into a centre forward position and Johar playing behind him. And the two skippers, Mark Gunasinga and Ritarak Naiga. Good experience. Uh, players. So we have the two teams uh, swapping sides. So it will be Colombo FC attacking from left to right in your screens. And the four officials, Milan Carrera, all experienced uh, referee. It's like I said earlier, with their new star result being null and void, Blue Eagles remain the only team in this Vantage of Professor President's Cup to be unbeaten so far. Colombo, meanwhile, their only loss coming in the hands of Blue Eagle in the group stage. And now, Blue Eagles, if they can rack up another win, they lift the trophy. Very humbly and respectfully, we have the honour of Omar the Dromi and the boys from Colombo. We'll have something to say about that. It's the two teams in the final huddle. A very warm well welcome to you, sir. Thank you very much for joining with us uh, for the Vantage FFSL President's That's Cup. That's uh, Blue Eagles who are ready. Columbo FC in their huddle. I would like to invite our distinguished guests to join with us in the special off. enclosure to take their respective seats as we have a nail fighting game to be witnessed between the two most powerful Blue Eagles FC. The crowds are still walking into the Sugaza Stadium. Excellent conditions uh, for a game of football with outfield. So you can expect uh, the ball to whiz pass. And uh, this will suit Colombo FC's game. They like to play quick and fast in the first 15-20 minutes with a one-touch game as uh, Zarwan Johar kicks things off with their short passing this wet outfield could suit them but as you just saw there the only disadvantage is players could slip as the crowd already making their voices heard there's now Colombo Long ball to Akib, intercepted. Early ball uh, over to Chalna Pramantha to attack. Chalna Pramantha has shifted into the right side of the field. He likes to play on the left. Here's Lakmal, looking for Netma Malshan, who went with the elbow out. And Chalita Ratnayang not liking it. And uh, early booking for Netna Malshan. Dilan Pereira asking them to hold on until he takes the note. That was absolutely reckless there by Netna Malshan. Leading one of the leading goal scorers with three goals. And just in the first minute itself getting himself inside the referee's book. And now he'll have to watch out for the rest of the 90 minutes. Now here's Fazal, a delightful ball to Shabir. Fazulia finding Akib. Couldn't get any purchase on that header. The bright start for Colombo. Indeed, the young boy is linking up early on once again for Colombo. But now, Kamindu was unable to come on the counter. Teams are uh, looking uh, rather optimistic in these early stages. Uh, they want to take a foothold of the game early. And even uh, Blue Eagles are not uh, sitting back. The Colombo defense need to watch out for Kamin Dushan. If the ball gets to him, 
on the far corner. With his pace and skill, he can cut back in and cause some problems. It'll be a long throw from Harsha Fernando. He has been taking these extremely long throws throughout this tournament. It's yet to pay off, however. Bilal having a word with uh, Charita Ratnayaka. Probably asking him to do his duty and uh, the referee will look after the game. And an extremely long run by Harsha Fernando to take this train, running the 100 meter race. And the red ball doing him no favours. But now Kalamba look to clear. Zarwan all alone up there. Counter was never on, but they still have the chance. Shabir. Another good ball by Shabir to find Azul. Zor. We're trying to look uh, for Akib. Excellent work by the front three once again. But, uh, the final ball from Zarwan not finding Akib. Just a touch too heavy, and Akib unable to stay on his feet. Has now ball given away. This could be it in one. I think Etna Malshan touch was too heavy and that helped Imran to make that save. Ramid Ishan. The touch from Netna Malshan was too heavy. It was a mistake at the back by Charter Ratnayaka. Uh, lucky and a let off for Blue Eagles. They should have scored. Imran. Netna Malshan got the goal early in the game against Javelin in the semi-final. That was a defensive error and once again, this was uh, Imran very really lucky there because he did get a touch but Netma Malchan still managed to get the ball past him but the defence was quick to clear. But good signs by Blue Eagle. Almost caught the Colombo defence snapping. That's now a throw in. High up the field for Blue Eagles. And once again, Harsha Fernando with his extremely long run up for the throw in. A good flat throw by Harsha. Imran punches it away. Another searching ball uh, to the far post. Akib uh, not taking any chances, putting it out for a corner. The Blue Eagles are uh, exerting good pressure. It seems like we will have the first corner of the game. Coming to Sean. Straight at the player. And out for another throw in. Miran Kanishka was trying to keep that ball in play and try to counter. Couldn't keep it and was uh, discussed with himself. Now here's Arsha. Zarwan unable to set Colombo on their way. And now Kavin Duishan brought down. Excellent tackle by Charita Ratnayaka. Kavin Duishan knew what he was going to do. Drive himself into the box and uh, look for a touch. The ball had gone out for play and it will be a corner for Blue Eagles. And some unnecessary scenes on the field here. Tensions escalating at the Sukhata Dasa. A grand final still not even in the first 10 minutes. Players need to discipline themselves and keep control. It all started with an altercation between Zarwan and the Blue Eagles player. I think Akib uh, who have been uh, brought down or uh, a yellow card uh, to Jeevanta Fernando or rather Chaturanga Fernando for an incident off the ball. And uh, referee Dilan Pereira has spoken to his uh, assistant referee. And Blue Eagles already 
on two yellow cards in this uh, first five minutes of the game. Indeed, as I said, it was Chaturang Fernando who clashed with Zalwan initially off the ball and then Arkit trying to get involved was pushed. And once again, it seems Blue Eagles will have another corner set piece coming to Ishan. Danger still not over. However, Siraj Jain now trying to find a quick ball to Zarwan. Uh, last ditch defending by Harsha Fernando. Zarwan giving away the foul. And now Blue Eagles to Harsha Fernando. Look to reply. Kavin Dushan all alone. Keeps uh, turn not working now. Here's Givanta Fernando. Kalna Bramanta still not cleared away. And uh, once again, Colombo FC living dangerously at the back. I don't know what Imran was thinking there. He came for the ball but then just stopped. He should have gone for it. But fortunately, danger cleared. I think the wet outfield the is playing a part as well. We would like to humbly and respectfully invite. It's been the chairman of Ebony Holdings Limited, uh, Mr. Rossi Mahin, to start. The both the teams are Mr. not giving a inch uh, now. Seems like there are two players down on the field. Sira Jain went down initially and Chaturang Fernando down as well. Been a crazy first 10 minutes in this grand final. Already two yellow cards for two Blue Eagle players Chaturanga Fernando and Mandushan Fernando. A good support. Uh, both the team here's the replay. Both uh, having an eye for the ball, but Chaturanga uh, Fernando catching uh, Siraj Jain late. Now Zarwan Johar uh, getting a talking as well from Dilan Pereira. First 10 minutes, even though Colombo started on the front foot, it would seem that it has been Blue Eagles who have had the brunt of chances. As now Colombo, Fazal. I think the players haven't played in these conditions for a while. Since the tournament started, it was been uh, dry weather. And they had uh, played in hot and humid conditions and uh, dry outfields. It's a delightful ball. By Mohamas Yapo finding Iran Kanishka. Try to drive that low to Zarwan. Kalita has to be careful. He knew he missed the ball. He made sure Kamidu Ishan doesn't move. What a free kick in advanced position for Blue Eagles. Saita Ratnaika, those type of defensive tactics won't work against the play of Kamidu Ishan's pace. We've seen how dangerous Kavin Dushan can be from free kicks. This is a little too deep to go straight for goal. But if he can whip it in and find a teammate, that could be the first golden opportunity for Blue Eagles. The replay is showing a very soft foul. Just having his arm around as Kavin Dushan going for goal. Caught by Mohammed Imran. And Imran trying to quickly set his team on the way. Shabir Razunia. Goes for the over the top ball. No support, however. Now the ball back with Blue Eagles. Yapo 
going back to his defense. Apo hasn't been too involved in the game so far. As now he tries to change that. Good sliding tackle, but the ball straight back to Colombo. Once again, the two ball not working in Colombo's favor. Iran Kanishka. Look to connect with Akib and concedes and wins the first corner for Colombo. Zarvan to take the corner. Players making their way into the box. Azal tried to hit it on the run but couldn't connect. And the ball out for another throw into Colombo. And out for yet another corner. Colombo going full out attack for this corner and the header just wide on that occasion. That was a brilliant header by Afil Mohammed. The corner was ripped in by Zalvan and the header just wide of the post. Given away inside the Colombo half. It's been a very nervy first 15 minutes. A lot of fouls. As you see there, didn't want Neto Malshan to get past him and conceded the foul. Out for the throw in to Blue Eagles. Good work defensively by Siraj, but it's out for yet another throw in. Fernando with his trademark long run for the throw-in, almost in the long jump pit. Long throw-in but pointless straight in the arms of Imran as now Imran tries to set Zalwan on his way. And it's Colombo, Zalwan Johar breaking into the box. Tried to pass it off to Fazal, but intercepted crucially by Blue Eagles. It was another great opportunity for Colombo on the counter attack. As now the ball went back, but couldn't be kept in on that occasion by Chalna Pramanta.
Blue Eagles have, seems to have settled in uh, more than Colombo FC in this game so far. It's Colombo who is uh, soaking up all the pressure as uh, Harsha Fernando with his uh, long run up and a long throw. Another good flat throw. This time uh, going out of play and for a goal kick for Colombo FC. Indeed, Colombo haven't been able to realize their usual short passing. Blue Eagles having the brunt of position and most of the play taking place inside the Colombo half. Colombo have been boxed into their own half. They need to start doing their usual tactics and get those short passes off. I think they, they need to get their act together in the midfield. Mamas Yapo and uh, Ahmad Shazni. Uh, Shazni playing the more attacking role along with uh, Fazal. Need to make sure they create and a silly foul given by Roshan Fernando. I think Colombo haven't been able to utilize Moma Siapo as they did in the last few matches. He has been defended extremely tightly. But a free kick in a dangerous position for Colombo. And after yeah, Colombo too had uh, two chances. And uh, could this be another a good delivery? From the Ruan will test. You know Ruan Arunasuri, not the most confident of keepers uh, in cruncher situations, but this time it's too close to him. No collects. They are just too powerful. And an easy collection for Ruan Arunasuri. An interesting note on the two goalkeepers, Mohamed Imran, currently on two clean sheets. If he can somehow keep a clean sheet in this game, he will tie for the most clean sheets in the tournament. Along with Ashwak Ayub from Java Lane with three clean sheets. But a long way to go. I don't think uh, there will be too much worried about uh, how many clean sheets he has. As long as uh, Colombo FC wins the cup and uh, he doesn't concede. I don't think uh, there is any awards, uh, or special awards rather, but we'll have to wait and see. Now Colombo trying to build another attack, out for another throw in. Uh, Madhushan Fernando making sure that ball doesn't uh, reach Akib. have been very strong defensively so far. Quick throw by uh, Akib for Zarwan. Not a foul committed by Akib in this uh, near side. So we've gone 20 minutes uh, on the game and uh, has been uh, good end-to-end uh, -end stuff. Goal so far, but now what it has been some good play, mostly by Blue Eagles. They have seemed to be the more dominant side so far. As once again, Blue Eagles in position. Mohamed Jamal winning his side a foul. Once again, in just inside the Colombo half. Taken quickly. Long ball wasted straight to Mohammed Imran. And once again, Colombo now trying to play from the back and Shazni slipping and giving position back as Chalna Pramanta shot. I think the hand uh, of Charter Ratnaika, uh, referee Dilan Pereira calling that late. In an extremely dangerous position, you would have to say. For a player of Kang Dushan's caliber, we've seen what he can do with free kicks in this tournament. 
he has been extremely unlucky however all his free kicks hit in the woodwork but this is as good a chance as any for him to convert and give Blue Eagles the lead in this grand finale Kwame Dushan standing over it four man ball by Colombo and if this on target it will test him run Colombo Fernando also there but it will be Kwame Dushan indeed uh, bounce just in front of Imran went down on time to smother that San Fernando tried to go long but intercepted by Mama Siapo now Ahmad Chazni going back to skipper Ratnayaka Iran Iran Kanishka losing that ball lucky he won the ball and put it away Colombo FC they still haven't uh, started playing in the midfield the handball appeal Roshan Fernando Roshan Fernando free kick uh, going Colombo FC's way inside uh, Blue Eagles half and uh, Colombo not pushing too many men just uh, four of them and Zarwan and Fazal standing over I think they will try to go straight for goal Roshan Fernando did not take part in Blue Eagles semi-final game against Jawalain he was suspended from that match and returns for the final as it will seem to be Zarwan will he go for goal indeed but a poor effort well wide of the target what he tried to do is uh, take advantage of the weight outfield went low tried to hit it should have been on target and uh, but Arno Siri, Ruan Arno Siri still yet to make a save nothing on target yet whereas Imran has been the busier of the two goalkeepers Indeed, that is something Colombo will need to change Ruan Arno Siri not called into action yet as now Shabir Razunia Zarwan brought down off the ball, got back on his feet, but intercepted. A good ball towards Netna Malshan. Imran uh, came up early. Work on that occasion by Afil Mohammed. Put enough pressure on Netna Malshan to ensure Imran got there in time. Chandler Bramanta taking Iran Kanishka along with the ball. Uh, call for a foul as uh, gradually Colombo FC are moving towards uh, the Blue Eagle half and trying to keep the ball there with all these uh, free kicks coming their way that's Fazal to Shazni to Zarwan Zarwan's pass, uh, not the best. Ball still with Colombo. Can they do something? Sabir. Sabir going all around the airport players, the Blue Eagles players. Couldn't find a pass, uh, couldn't find a route uh, for a pass. One back by Colombo and given away just as quickly. There's Niran Kanishka now, sees the run of Fazal. Akib keeps that ball, knew Fazal was offside. Niran was uh, trying to. Look for Momas Yapo. Netna Malshan and Chatta Ratnayaka. 
getting together once again. Just caught Charita a little late there. And the free kick going Columbus way. Just inside the Blue Eagles half. wanting the players where he wants them and the ball easily headed away Suraj Jain has been uh, sloppy in that left uh, back area and given away the ball a couple of times and that time he had Shabir to his left and couldn't find him hit coming to Vishan and his Fazal get into a good position Ahmad Fazal Jalbam brought down, but a fair challenge deems Refri Dilan. I think Zarwan should have done better in uh, staying on his feet and assisting uh, Fazal with that ball. Fazal uh, dribbled past a couple of players and uh, got into a really good position. Zarwan offside on that occasion. Oh, can't let the pressure of a final get into their heads. They are a team who have been in big finals on many occasions in the last few years. And they have the chance to win yet another trophy. But they need to improve on their performance. This is not the same performance they've been having throughout the tournament. Blue Eagles playing superbly so far as we near the half an hour mark of this grand finale. Now here's Akib, uh, mistake of Arnazuri. Akib going all by himself. The ball still live. Brilliant last ditch effort by Madhusan Fernando. Do win with the tackle and won the ball back. Only temporarily as the header. Oh the Western rebound. The cross from Shabir hitting Ahmed Shazdi on the shoulder. It's the woodwork. And comes back to Ahmed Shazdi. Who converts and gives Colombo the lead in this final. And there you go. Even though it seemed like Blue Eagles are the more dominant team in this first half. Colombo, as they can, strike out of nowhere. Brilliant. Crossed by Shabir and Ahmad Shazni doing the needful at the end as you can see. Once again a brilliant cross. Shabir has been doing that this whole tournament. Last time Arno Siri was called on to make a save and uh, the header rather the shoulder taking that ball away and uh, the lucky bounce. And Ahmad Shazni will be grateful he got a goal. The group stage as well and uh, even in the semi-final. The Blue Eagles defenders really need to have done better there. They left Arunasiri on his own. They should have been more alert. I think all credit should go to Akib uh, for starting that move and uh, going around as uh, Akib now once again. It's in to the end of it. Miran Kanishka. Not the best of uh, corners, there's Zarwan! And this again hits the woodwork for the second time. Blue Eagles defense were waiting for an offside call. Zarwan was clearly onside with the ball ricocheting off a Blue Eagle player. Zarwan really should have done better on that occasion. This has been something that has haunted him throughout the tournament. He gets into amazing positions, but when he takes the shot, he connects very weakly. And that's a huge let off for Blue Eagles. Zarwan really should have made it 2 0. A play of his caliber should be putting those away in his sleep. Indeed. This time the ricocheting uh, helping Arunasiri to gather. Shazni was lurking once again. Once again, you really have to say the Blue Eagles defenders should have done better. Once again, they were not alert. 
they were all waiting for a flag to come that didn't come and Jarvan wasted the chance and that second goal uh, would have uh, really taken the wind out of the sails of Blue Eagle we're still in the game As, uh, we saw how the semi-finals went about no lead is uh, secure until that final whistle. Indeed, both those teams had a 2 0 lead, but end of 90 minutes, both games went to penalty shootouts as Imran Telex and goes to ground taking his time. Well, that was a good turnout as well in the stadium. The tears are still getting filled. Spectators joining after work as uh, here's Niran Kanishka now. Dibbles plus two, Dibbles plus three. Okay. Mohamed Akib couldn't get that cross across to Zarwan and Shabir who are there. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant by Niran Kanishka. Great footwork got past three defenders. But just the introduction was not there. And now the throw in. Going to Blue Eagles. Just a 1 0 lead so far. Really should have been 2. But Blue Eagles still with a great chance. Now Tatranga Fernando going long. Chandra Pramanta. They need to get Kavin Dishan in the game, Blue Eagles. He is the, the, the go to man. Tried to go around Niran Kanishka and uh, well defended by the right back. So good support for both the teams. Uh, here's Kavidu once again. Oh, Here away by ending. Mama Siapo. Ruan tried to chase it down but defender getting there first. Now, Blue Eagles once again. Finds coming to Ishan and wins himself another throw in. Now, G1 to Fernando going down the wing. Finds coming to Ishan. Free kick. That's Niran Kanishka this time. Committing the foul and uh, coming to Ishan. Free kick from uh, respect uh, the referee Dilan Pereira. So, not too many questions about uh, the decisions. And it looks like it will be G1 Fernando to try and whip this into the box. the chance let's not forget in their semi-finally they conceded their first goal to a free kick header oh well, that was really poor by G1 to Fernando he should have put that ball in the box and uh, look for Blue Eagle player he didn't trouble anybody I don't know if the conditions had something to do with that but that was a horrendous effort going long now here's once again uh, space for Akib to run around Mohamed Akib yeah, support in the box but good work by Ruan Alnasiri I think the cross a bit earlier would have uh, asked questions uh, when Akib uh, went on to the byline there's only one way for him to come back and uh, Ruan Arnasiri knew where it's going to be. And now Ruan Arnasiri seems to be in a spot of bother. 
the Akib had a lot of options inside the box. Zarvan, Fazal, Shabir all raising in. But held it on just a little too late. And then he tried to cut it back. Arunan Siddhi read it like a book and got there. As both teams taking advantage of this break in play to give their players some instructions. Since that goal to Colombo, it has been Colombo in the driving seat. Blue Eagles and Kamin Dushan, if they can pull one back and equalize before the half time break, it would change the whole complexion of the second half. A poor work there. By Akib gives the ball away. And now Blue Eagles can they retaliate. Edmund Alshan unable to keep hold of that ball. And now ball into the box. chance an acrobatic effort by Netma Malshan could not direct it goalwards and Imran just simply watched it go wide and now here's Colombo once again Akib breaking in under heavy pressure from the defense, took his shot and fired wide. Akib has been extremely threatening throughout this first half. And you saw once again, broke past the defense. But he knew he was under pressure. And he had to take the shot and could not keep it on target and Napo giving away a foul against Nepal Malshan as we are into the final five minutes of the first half Sarfranco Fernando cannot get past this man but intercepted the long ball. Salna Pramanta. This initial effort straight at Siddharth Jain. Blue Eagles. Looking to retaliate before the half time. G1 to Fernando. Some good short passing play here by the Blue Eagles. Gets past the upper. Fernando. And the header going straight back to Colombo. Ahmad Chazni going to Akib. Sabir finding Fazal on the far corner. Fazal doing brilliantly. This could be the second goal. Fazal! All the hard work done. Absolutely beautiful footwork by Mohammed Fazal, but his final effort just went just wide. 
And the goal line remains 1-0 to Colombo. Zalvan could not get on the end of that. I would have to say a beautiful bit of footwork like that. Did deserve a goal at the end of it, but just couldn't keep it on target. He got past four defenders, did Fazal. That's now Tatranga Fernando down holding his ankle. Fazal showed some absolutely beautiful footwork, got past three defenders, four defenders, but the final shot just wide and Zalwan diving in could not get a touch. Fernando Fernando being stretched off. Hopefully he will be okay. I think Akib just extremely unintentionally caught his ankle. Fernando, a poor ball, but poor play by Colombo sees the ball right back. Three minutes of injury time as the foot official shows us and another late challenge against Momas Yapo. Both players down in some discomfort. Additional time of three minutes. Seems to be Chaturanga Fernando once again. He just came back onto the field. Both players went for the ball. It seems like it was Chaturanga Fernando who took the brunt of it. And just after coming on, after treatment for that previous knock. Dilan will have to add more time onto that three minutes of added time. Saduanga Fernando has been a vital player for them throughout this tournament. They will be hoping that he is okay. Mama Siapo, on the other hand, again has been extremely crucial for Colombo, but he has been unable to make his mark on this game so far. Going into the second half, he will be called upon. Colombo do rely on him heavily to dominate the midfield and to get their short passes off. Seems like both players will be okay to continue. The free kick was given Colombo's way. Ball cross 
Zalwan and that could a goal line clearance. Some madness here and that effort again saved by Juan Alvesiri. Colombo once again letting another golden chance go begging. Two great chances. Both had poor shots. And then the third by Shabir cleared off the line. And then the final effort saved by Ruan Alvesiri. And Blue Eagles live to fight another day. Still 1-0. As you see there, Shabir just couldn't get the shot off. And then Zalwan once again some poor connection. And then a brilliant goal line clearance by Harsha Fernando. As the referee blows for half time. Colombo FC leading Blue Eagles 1-0 in this grand finale of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup. And it's all for Blue Eagles to do in the second half. Join us in 15 minutes for live action of the second half. Ladies and gentlemen, the half-time score is Blue Eagles nil, Colombo Football Cup 1.
දැන් මොන වගේ උපක්‍රමයක් එහෙම නැත්නම් සැලසුමක් ක්‍රියාත්මක කරයිද කියලා අපිට හිතන්නට අපහසුයි නමුත් උන් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම the vintage ffsl president cup 2020 colombo football club leading 1-0 against blue eagles and it's down to the final 45 minutes of this great tournament and colombo fc have made a change at half time siraj jain coming off in place of number 6 abdul basit defensive change at the back and now blue eagles uh, blue eagles kick things off in this second half and colombo fc bringing on uh, abdul basit in place of siraj zain siraj zain didn't have a great game the first half given away the ball couple of times and uh, also getting into a uh, injury as well needed some attention the boss is a not his familiar position is back uh, we have to close the match on Salim Ramanta and uh, those two have come together before the captain and Amir uh, Hussain there Solution. It happened at half time. Here's uh, Ahmad Chazni, the goal scorer. Looking for Shabir Razunia. Shabir, Shabir, you can cross the game. Shabir is cross uh, cleared away. Vital header on that occasion by Roshan Fernando. Colombo leading 1 0. Blue Eagles need to respond quickly as now once again. Fazal but the flag raced offside against him Colombo once again try to set up a attack Shabir got to the edge of the box and tried to put the cross didn't work on that occasion as now Colombo winning the ball back once again Lakmal Jayatunga The skipper for Blue Eagle Lakmal Gunasinga playing is right back and uh, 
That ball, Afil Mohammed and Abdul Basit let that run through. But uh, Net Mamal Shan couldn't get uh, to the end of it. Mamasiapo has been defended extremely tightly throughout this game so far. Has not been able to make the usual impact. As once again, Blue Eagles trying to win the ball back and do so. Harsha Fernando. In the second half, both the teams uh, haven't got in yet. It's been sloppy, given away and uh, missed passes. Indeed, as you just saw, Harsha Fernando with an extremely poor pass. The ball went straight out. And now, Roshan Fernando just watches it go out for a goal kick. Hazal just feeling the back of his tie there. Yeah. Once again, uh, the goal kick coming all the way into Colombo's half, but uh, cleared away by Moma Siapo. Shabir Razunia, his cross uh, not the best. He tried to chip it across to Zarwan, but uh, that did not come off. That was set up once again by some good skill and footwork by Mohamed Fazal. He was absolutely magical in that first half with his pace and footwork as he displayed once again there. But it hasn't been able to get that final touch just yet. Abdul Basit uh, with a bit of support by Momasiapo. Get that ball away. And Zarwan being fouled uh, by Harsha right in the front of uh, referee Dilan Pereira. Just inside the Blue Eagle half, that is. Colombo taking the time. Afil Mohammed. Here's Afil Mohammed. Looking for Fazal. Cleared away by Jivanta Fernando. Mama Siapo. A rare occasion uh, attacking. He has been the defensive midfielder in the game. Shazni is shot, taking a deflection. It will be a corner for Colombo FC. There is that influence that Yapo has been giving Colombo in the past matches. And as you rightly said, he has been playing an extremely defensive role in this game. But came upfield on that occasion and just showed how dangerous he can be. Set up for the chance for the goal scorer, Shazni. But Shazni went from the edge of the box just wide. Cleared away in the near post by Lakmal uh, Gunasinga. So the ball still with uh, Colombo FC. Took a deflection of Chalna Pramanta on that occasion. Colombo taking as much time as they can. I think uh, Fazal wanted Basit to take that. Basit too has a long throw. He's uh, following the footstep of uh, Harsha Fernando. Eagles clearing it away. Now here's Afil Mohammed. Has to be careful. I was going to say Netma Malshan charging on him. Indeed, Netma Malshan and Kain Vishan, the two extremely pacey, dangerous forwards for Blue Eagles. And it looks like it will be a throw into Colombo. Taken long once again. And Fazal. He tried to black flick that and uh, Roshan Fernando catching him. Once again, a good position for Colombo FC. They are in the Blue Eagle half and the set plays with them. Fazal is off the field, so play can continue. Indeed, I think the moment he realized that he quickly jumped back to his feet. 
Santos, Roshan Fernando. Both going for the ball and now Zorvan will try to whip this in. Zorvan has had a few missed opportunities so far and tries to whip it in. Cleared away, almost putting into his own net, uh, Roshan Fernando. That was a bullet of a header just at the wrong end, but fortunately concedes the corner. And it will be Zarwan once again. Another corner, a second attempt for Zarwan now. That's the third corner in the second half uh, for Colombo FC. And they need to make sure they utilize these uh, corners. He went low the first time. Goes high this time, but Ruan Arunziri jumping and claiming the ball easily. I couldn't get that ball away quickly. Blue Eagles are not having too many up front, only coming to Vishan. Closely marked by Niran Kanishka. He had to hold on and uh, tag teamed by Afil Mohamed and Mohamed Siapo. Netma Malshan. Not the two players you want to be caught in between. And a free kick just inside the Colombo half. As you see there, got sandwiched basically. So, a rare attacking opportunity for Blue Eagles now. Free kick uh, to trouble Imran. A poor attempt. Uh, second leaf. Looked like he was offside, Netma Malshan, and uh, rightly so. Imran, of course, in no hurry. And this is where experience comes in with goalkeepers as the assistant referee where the right spot as the main referee can he take it then indeed he knows how to buy his team sometime they are a goal up cross into the box Shabir Shabir uh, got put off by Lakma Gunasinghe coming across he didn't uh, get a clean header straight to Arunasiri a good uh, solid header would have uh, troubled Arunasiri. Another let off uh, as uh, Blue Eagles tried to counter. Shabir should have uh, probably took his eye off the ball for a moment with Lakma Gunasinghe. There you see on the replay. Lakma going across him. That did put off uh, Razunia. Indeed. That was another great chance for the youngster. Ruan Naurasiri quickly went down and was able to keep hold of the ball as we near the hour mark of the grand finale. As now Colombo once again, Shabir, can he give a better delivery on this occasion? Gets past Kipa Lakmal. Appeal for handball from uh, Johar. Mama Siapo blocked away. Blue Eagles trying to find both have pace and Zarzunia is uh, free again, once again in this left. Uh, this time uh, he's been offside. Didn't come back uh, quick enough. He, so he the has. deliveries haven't been the great uh, from uh, Shabir in this left wing. Uh, to Youngsters on either wings and Eagles defend. Here's the other one, Mohamed Akib. Some good footwork there. Keeps the ball, but a foul given. Blue Eagles way. But what a tournament the youngster has had, Shabi Razunia. Especially in the knockout stages, starting from the quarterfinals played a crucial role in getting Colombo 
over the quarterfinal as well as the semi-finals with some good assists and goals. And as a young lad who still plays at the school level, he has an extremely bright future ahead of him for sure if he can keep going. As Apo now has taken a heavy bump, as you can see him describing to the referee in dramatic fashion. I'm sure referee Dylan Pereira would have seen more antics than that. As uh, retains the ball back to Blue Eagles. Uh, here's uh, Arsha Fernando. Good interception, but only temporarily. Excellent work uh, on that uh, far side by Harsha and uh, Chaturanga Fernando. Dispossessed by Mohamed Akib. Mohamed Akib on the run. Has Shasni to support. Has Mohamed Yapo. Shasni's return ball not finding Yapo. Garwan almost ready to pull the trigger. Vital interception there by Lakmal Gunasingha. His header made sure that the ball didn't go to Zarwan. But they can see the throw in up the field. Yeah, Zarwan was all ready for that uh, aerial effort. And of course, Colombo once again taking their sweet time in absolutely no hurry. As a uh, leading 1 0, should have been more. And, uh, Blue Eagles trying to get back one. It really should have been more if Blue Eagles can somehow get the equaliser. Colombo will have no one but themselves to blame. It should have been 3 0 up now as. Not a bad effort from Chandler Pramantha. First time effort around 30 meters off. And uh, whisking past the goal. Tried no. to catch Mohamed Imran by surprise there. As you see. Took the shot on the first time, but Imran calmly watched it go just past the post. Once again, Netmam uh, Alshan, Charita Ratnayak and Mohamed Afil having a wording to form the Dilan. This time it's Netma and uh, Afil Mohamed. Referee Dilan just making sure. No unnecessary antics happen off the ball. Just calming down the tensions. Netma Malsha needs to watch his temper. His team 1 0 down. They can't afford to be a man down as well. And now Zarwan on the ball. One back. Hazal's uh, through ball blocked. There's uh, Shazni now. So, Colombo FC try doing the right thing, playing uh, the game in uh, Blue Eagles half. Continue to do that. Uh, that will keep them in the advantage. Uh, as uh, Once again, Ahmed Shazni now. Indeed, and it will also put pressure on the Blue Eagles, who are the team who need to get a goal back. As Zarwan. Goes down, winning his side a free kick. Need to keep that. It's so uh, counting and on. Yapo trying to keep position. Oh, I miss Balapama. You do your style. He picked one there by Abdul Basit. He saw the tackle coming and got himself between the ball and the player. Abdul. Bashi. Bashi. Smartly Bashi wins his team a free kick as well as some time to try and slow the game down. Blue Eagles seem to be building on their momentum. You see there, Abdul Basit saw the tackle coming and didn't really go for the ball. Masiapo intercepting once again. 
Finds Fazal on the wing. Fazal just has knee. Fazal. Zalvan. Zalvan once again. Very poor connection. And this time, sees the ball out for a corner yet again. His finishing has really been his Achilles heel in this tournament. So many chances, almost always connecting poorly. That's once again the corner. Yapo, and that's the second goal. Namas Yapo. The man who has come up in so many big moments for Colombo Football Club comes up with another big moment and Momas Yapo makes it 2-0 to Colombo FC in the grand finale and could this be the moment could that be the nail in the coffin for Blue Eagles I was saying earlier Momas Yapo hasn't been his usual self in this game but come the big moments come the big men and Momas Yapo stepped up in a big way and on the second attempt, smashed the ball into the back of the net, passed Ruan Arunasiri, as you can see on your screens. A good corner by Zalvan. And on the volley, smashed it into the back of the net. There were appeals for handball. And it's unclear if it did touch him on the arm, but the goal stands. And it's 2-0 to Colombo FC, courtesy of Momas Yapo. Now it's an uphill task of Blue Eagles. Kavin Dushan hasn't been able to get into the game in the second half and they really need him now. Just once again Colombo, Zalvan. Yapo, the goal scorer, going back to his skipper. Once again, brilliant footwork by Fazal. And Zarwan Johar, his heavy touch, getting him down and conceding a free kick and getting himself into Dilan's book. The first Colombo player to be shown a yellow card. semi-finals. <laughs> The team who were two goals down managed to pull off a comeback to take the game into penalties. And now the task falls to Blue Eagles who need to do the exact same. But they have been unable to utilize the pace and skill of Kavin Dushan in this half. And they need him desperately as once again Kanishka conceding a throw in. Arshi Fernando rushing up to take the ball for his trademark long run. Going all the way back to the crowd. Ron standing in an extremely advanced position. What a poor throw in. Now Colombo. Able to do much good work there by Fernando. And now Chaturanga. Dushan winning a free kick in advance position for Blue Eagles. Taken quickly. Not too quickly for any of his teammates to react. And now it's Colombo. Zalvan all alone up there. Could not take advantage of that counter attack. We are into the final 20 minutes of this final. Blue Eagles really running out of time here. 
has been somewhat of impact substitute for Blue Eagles throughout this tournament. Can he make an impact once again? Abdul Basit clearing. Blue Eagles can pull a goal back. That could give them the momentum. It would wake their fans up. It could turn the tide in their favor. That's offside there. Ron will come out of his box to take this. Trying to connect with Zarwan. Zarwan unable to take control of that ball. Now for intercepting Zimal's pass. This could be the third goal. Good work by Juan Arunzini, very temporary. Lakmal got in the way of Momaz Yapo's shot. And the final efforts tied over the crossbar. The Eagles need to start getting back into this game, but it looks more likely that it will be Colombo to extend their lead, as you saw there, Ruan Arunzini. Came off his line well, and then skipper Lakmal did well to block that effort by Mama Siapo. And the final shot by Shazni over the crossbar. Now Shanala. The Eagles yet to have a decent opportunity in this second half as once again it's Fazal trying to put Colombo on their way once again. Fazal winning the ball back. Zarwan once again unable to keep hold of the ball. Hasn't been his best self in this game. Niran Kanish the now. Going down, but play continues. Long ball. And out by Chaita Ratnayaka for a corner kick to Blue Eagles on this occasion. Niran Kanish still down in some discomfort. But gets up, seeing that he has to defend. And Kamin Dushan. The spawn was taken short and the ball out for a goal kick. Now Colombo making a substitution. It will be that man Zalvan Johar coming off. Hasn't had the best of games really. Had a lot of missed opportunities. And he is replaced by number three. Buddhika Pereira. But despite Zalvan not having the best of performances. He might have done enough for his team to secure yet another title. Showing another yellow card. Oh, 
sail into the back of the net. And it's now Colombo FC 3, Blue Eagles nil. And it seems that Colombo FC will be our inaugural FFSL President's Cup champions. Yet another title into the trophy cabinet for Colombo Football Club and Mohamed Rumi, it would seem. As Harjo Fernando down and in some pain. Bandu Palne, the Fazal, Akif, Evagema, Sabir, Sasnuni, Kirikin, colliding blue with this country. Harsh and it's never a nice feeling when you collide with a play of the physique of Momasiapo. Blue Eagles. Long ball not working for them once again as the flag raised for offside. Tensions just rising a little on field. Seems like during that drama of that third goal, Blue Eagles brought on DK Duminda. Back to Basit, can they add a fourth? Referee blowing the whistle and pulling the game back. Foul off the ball. It's Blue Eagles need to make a last ditch effort, bringing on another substitute. They are dangerous forward net from Alshan. Coming off in place of Gimhan Attanayaka. I think the, uh, this change is uh, basically to make sure they don't ship any more goals at the back. Uh, it's the final. And uh, they don't want it to go in the route. Uh, really look embarrassing on the newspapers tomorrow morning. But it has been uh, Colombo FC. Blue Eagles uh, did uh, start it off brightly. The first 15 20 minutes, they had an opportunity. And Nesma Malshan, brightly heavy touch as uh, we see some uh, seniors of Colombo FC warming up. Probably they'll get the last five minutes just so being a grand final. Because Blue Eagles. Your club captain to be on the field. The tournament captain is Charter Ratnaiga. It was Blue Eagles who started off the game on the front foot, as you said, but Colombo got that first goal out of nowhere, really. And since then, it seems to have rattled the Blue Eagles. And the Blue Eagles aren't really flying here at the Sukaradaza. It's the Colombo Lions who are roaring. And like I said, it seems like they will add yet another trophy to their illustrious trophy cabinet as now they look to add another Mohamed Akib. Just as he was planning to pull the trigger, Arsha Fernando got it cleared away for another corner. Remember, who he was considered uh, with corners. Fazal go across to take this. Despite the scoreline, the Blue Eagle uh, supporters still having their drums uh, banging, trying to encourage. They do say in football it's not over till it's over, but on this occasion you really have to say it's over. And uh, referee Dilan Pereira too have controlled the game really well. We booked uh, two Blue Eagle players early on. That is uh, to set his authority on the game. And uh, it's been a good game. 
Pereira. 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 Keeps that ball in play. Crosses towards uh, Fadal. Rasni looking for a hat trick. Clear away and now DK Duminda tried to set Kavin Dushan on his way but unable to and the ball deflecting off his own teammate for a throw in. Struck Iran Kanishka on the arm. Uh, Blue Eagles at least looking for a consolation. And uh, Columbia FC has other idea making sure they have a clean sheet. He then now Momos Yapo, the man who scored the second goal. Unable to connect. And once again, ball given away. And now Blue Eagles, Mohamed Ziman. Fernando. Back to Ziman. Blue Eagles struggling to get up front here. Kavin Dushan has really been absent. They haven't been able to get the ball to him. They have been missing the midfield creative play. They haven't been anyone uh, putting their hands up and trying to get that ball across to Kavin This is more than sweet revenge for Colombo FC for losing the group stage game. This is the grand final and Mohamed Akib now. Another run. He needs support. He's getting it by Shabir. Took too long. He should have sent that ball earlier. He didn't take the chance to pass it to Shabir when he got it. The defence managed to get back and Roshan Fernando saw the ball go out for a goal kick. DK Duminda. Is there still time for at least one goal? Let's play, go on. Now, now, Fernando, a good sliding now, ball back with Fazal. Fazal. Colombo playing the usual short passing. But now the long ball to try and connect with Shabir, not working. When we are approaching full time and uh, waiting for the fourth official to indicate uh, the added minutes. Really not sure it will be more than two. As uh, Razunia. Arnasiri saves. Razunia converts on the return. That's the fourth goal. Shabir Razunia. What a tournament this young man has had. He had goals and assists in both the quarter final and then the semi final and now once again in the final the youngster has shown up big time and it's 4 nil to colombo shabir razunia nice. uh, first attempt uh, got saved by arno Suri. and the bounce coming back once again to him and uh, putting it uh, into the net here's the save Arnasiri couldn't stop that uh, superb curling ball into the far post. And the fourth official also indicates four minutes of added time as uh, Colombo FC going, going on a 4 0 lead in this uh, final of this uh, Vantage President's Cup uh, 2020. A well deserved goal, Ambition, I would say. Uh, clearly offside. As I was saying, a well-deserved goal for Shabir Razunia. He has done all the hard work throughout the tournament and gets his reward once again in the grand final. And I would say that second effort where he scored the goal was extremely harder than the first one. But like you said, a beautiful curling goal to find the back of the net as some substitution for Colombo. It will be a few minutes in the grand final for Bodri Dimitri coming on for Momos Yapo. And can Dimitri make an impact? Get himself on the score sheet. Back to Shabir. Shabir goes a goal, saved by Ruan Arunasiri. Yeah, this time he went to the near post for power. Arunasiri manages to cover that. If uh, Shabir had gone to the far post, that would have been the fifth. With his power. You have to and say, Ruan Narunasiri has been the only 
positive for Blue Eagles in this final. He has made save after save after save, but let down by his defence and the rest of his team. You can see the frustration after he made that save, yelling at his defence. And now, Colombo will have another chance to add yet another from this corner set piece. It's likely they will go short. Fazal, Dimitri standing right by him. I think they'll want to keep the ball in this corner and uh, get uh, Dimitri into some action with his footwork. There he finds Fazal through the legs. A nutmeg. And Fazal's uh, gone into an offside position. Then the referee didn't hear the whistle. That's a brilliant finish, nevertheless. It will be interesting to see if he was offside, as now Dimitri once again. Dimitri seems to be playing in the same position that Yapo was. And Dimitri has to be careful a bit. That, uh, he's getting uh, hacked down. Blue Eagles not liking what uh, Dimitri is trying to do. Uh, Dimitri is a strong man. He can handle it. As, you, as we were saying, he has taken up the same position. Uh, that was an extremely late, reckless challenge there by number 16, Jean-Luc Vigisena. Lucky to get away with that. Hacked at it, really. As you said, the referee Dilan didn't have the best of views of that. As now a long ball. The throw goes uh, Columbia FC way. A you have to say we are in what would be the final phase of this final. Referee Dilan, and there you go, full time here at the Sukhothadasa and Colombo Football Club are your first ever Vantage FFSL President's Cup champions. A well deserved result. Yeah, they have been the best team in the tournament. A slight hiccup in the group stage against Blue Eagles, but they came back uh, strongly. And they made sure that uh, this inaugural trophy stays in Colombo and stays with Colombo FC. And what? Blue Eagles uh, came in as the unbeaten team despite that uh, quarterfinal loss. Uh, and uh, Colombo FC celebrate with their fans, the deserving fans who are waiting for football for a long time. And what a performance it has been by their youngsters. The likes of Mohamed Akib, Shabir Razunia, Zalwan Johar, Abdul Basit, countless young players for Colombo stepped up on the big occasions. And well deserved Colombo FC are your President's Cup champions 2020. And celebrating with their fans. It was an absolute masterclass here today by Rumi and company. After that first goal went in, Blue Eagles really didn't have a chance. Indeed, Blue Eagles thought it would have been hard done. Things would have uh, looked different if uh, Netma Malshan had taken that opportunity. That would have made the task of uh, Colombo FC more difficult. However, like you said, since the goal uh, from Ahmad Shazni, it has been all uh, Colombo FC. And four goals. The goal scorers, Ahmad Chasni with the brace. Shabir Razunia adding yet another goal to make his tally four goals in this tournament. And Momaz Yapo as well adding a goal. And that would mean that Mohamed Imran finishes with three clean sheets. And Shabir Razunia, four goals, the leading goal scorer for Colombo FC. Indeed, uh, all the players are soaking up uh, the supporters and uh, see some highlights of this uh, second half. 
was a one way traffic in the second half Mohammad Imran uh, not uh, as busy as he was in the first Shazni getting his second it was a heartache and a heartbreak for blue eagles azunia brilliant uh, tournament to round off as uh, niran kanishka is showing off his uh, freestyle skills as uh, referee dilan pereira blows full time I will go down to the presentation area and uh, the interviews with the players as uh, we thank uh, all in the production room and uh, the technical staff it's been a great entertainment and uh, thank you rahul madhurava and me irshad hashim din signing off uh, saying good night and uh, stay safe in chance dekh hum una ek miss una ek me gulla poda pressure kara अपे महितना अपे टीम का पोड़ा एक अन्य प्रेशर रहेगा तो पोड़ा अपे डिफेंस तो तो एक करेट हो से अपे डे कोचिस टाइप एक क्यों अमेम में 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 दिवाल करन लगे ला अपे ऊपर ही मकड़ाई कर रहा ये गुल्ला दक्षिण टीम में अपे तेवा के बना माय थिंग बैट लक ये वाके में में पालमवार दे बदले ना खंडा अंधे का खार अब एक कहे दुनिया टपस से अभी सेकंड आपे अभी वाली ऊपर में रोए कर यानी टपस से अभी का गाला अभी अटैक करने था वैदु ने एक कम अभी प्रेशर रख वैदु ना एक कम गोल देखा ही तो ना वैदु ना तो से अभी ऊपर में क्या नहीं अटैक करने आदि अतैरी है मना है ना डियर नो ये थी अंतिम विशिल लग नमूद गणम दा पैतन में तरंगा वाली ये समस्त दक्षता वंदिया बेलर पर सहन सहन मगर पत्ते नट पुलों ने मगर दब खंडा या मधेरे सिट सहन होंदो दस कम दक्को में निद्रे टावी लाइन ना समस्त अकले से गणम दा पापन दुखी डाव कैसे दब दाखिन है टीम अगर इम्पेल हो मगे ब्लू इगल क्रीडा समाज है मटा बेस्ट मगे के न सुपर पार्ट तरंग करना आप दोस्त का तब तरंग जैक ग्राहने के समक्ष आता करने के लिए बहुत मस्त थी। मतलब ये तक में देना भी सुविधा नंबर ने में तरंगे जैक ग्राही ना है क्या समक्ष खाता बाह करने टा कलम बेफ्सी कंडाय माफिर की आकार टा में गोला हाथर टा बिंदु का विशिष्ट जैक ग्राहने कीम कर गत्ता चारित अभी कोमा चैम्पियन साइड जाक एक तभी फाइनल का अभी आरुद्ध गड़ा पास से अबे किड़े गुड़ा मानसूना कोचर्स स्टाफ अबे बोस गुड़ा मानसूना में तात्रे इंडर माय कांडा मंग गुड़ा किस्सा सिंह डी में अनिवार्य में जाग गाने बड़ा पुत्र इंतज़ाम मंग किड़ा करे देवनार दे दी बहुम फ्रबल अभियोग्य एक अट्टे पोड़ा इसरा देना करता है इधर बस अभी कोच क्यों आप पोड़ा इसरा सेलांग करने के लिए इधर बस अभी पोड़ा इसरा सेलांग के दी फर्स्ट आप इमाम उन अभी पहले ने गोल ले गया ला इधर बस अभी कोच अभी डे एडवाइस दूने बोले त्यां इसरा डे के लिए सेलांग करने के लिए अभी सेलांग करा दी कट्टे कोड़ा � आहमद शशनी इतना मध्यक्ष क्रीड़ा विलास एक पेंडम कला होगे गोल देखा कुमाई तो नो बदला बुना मैं क्रीड़ा का क्या नाम क्या नाम दे दे ओए यार इला के लिए मैं आपे क्लब बैग इन्हें पार ना मक्की डेगे आती विशिष्ट क्रीड़ा के क्या अनिवार्य फाइनल लेग मांगी तो ना गोड़ा फाइनल लेग गोल इसको कर लेना � अभी गोड़ा साथ रूम में लंकाई तो बचुलों में टेक दिन ने क्या ना अपे अपे बाला प्रोत्तो इंटरनेशनल मट्ट में आना अपे बोस्के बाला प्रोत्तो आत लंकाई चुलों में टेक दिन ना इंटरनेशनल मट्ट में आना बोस्के ही ने अनिवार्य सब आकर ना किड़े को बाला प्रोत्तो आने अपे बड़े सुपर प्रार्थना मतलब हित बतूने एक तमाह ये सुगंधा से प्रीड़ आंगने था तो अभी दन त्याग प्रदान होते हुए संदासी लुकाटे तो सूदा ना मेविन पावते ना इधर कली ना भी प्रधान पालक में दिले टीमों ना मेन मेका इतातु आवश्यक महा तरंगे दी ब्लू ईगल्स कंडा में पराजय पात करने कलम एफसी कंडा में गोला हाथरटा बिंदु का विशिष्ट ज
Once again, a very good evening to all of you and we have come down to the most awaited moment where we'll be awarding the champions this evening here at the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020. Thank you very much to our dignitaries for joining with us as the presentation party this evening. Starting off very quickly, we will be awarding a presentation and a token of appreciation to our match officials this evening. In order to do the honors of presenting these tokens of appreciation, I would like to invite Head of Business of Amana Bank PLC, Mr. Azam Amin, to join with us to give away the first set of awards this evening. In order to be felicitated on this stage, I would like to first and foremost invite the General Coordinator, Diluca Pereira, on stage. Let's all put our hands together to the General Coordinator, Diluca Pereira, here at the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020. Next, I would like to invite the referee assessor Nimal Vikramatunga to join with us on stage. Let's all put our hands together, ladies and gentlemen. The referee assessor Nimal Vikramatunga. And we move down uh, to uh, appreciate the services rendered by the referees this evening, uh, Dilan Pereira. Big round of applause to the referees as they walk up on stage. Mr. Dilan Pereira. Next, the assistant referee one, Palita Hematunga. Assistant referee two, Sanjeeva Premalal. Additional assistant referee one, HM Irashan. Additional ass assistant referee to KLS Chaturanga. And the fourth official this evening, M. Jeffrey. Once again, a big round of applause to all those match officials this evening here at the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Azam Amin, Head of Business of Amana Bank PLC, for joining with us in the presentation. Next, we move on to present the fair play team of the tournament cash award of 100,000 rupees and the Dynamo Fair Play Trophy. I would like to humbly and respectfully invite the chairman of Dynamo Food Chain, Mr. MSM Rashid, to join with us on stage to give away the fair play team of the tournament. The fair play team of the tournament is awarded to New Young's FC Venapur. The fair play team of the tournament, a cash award of 100,000 rupees and the Dynamo Fair Play Trophy will be awarded by the chairman of Dynamo Food Chain, Mr. MSM Rashad. A big round of applause uh, to the New Young's FC Wenapua. We also have the uh, Dynamo Fair Play Trophy, which will be given out this evening. Congratulations and thank you very much, uh, Chairman of Dynamo Food Chain, Mr. MSM Rushan. We move on to present the uh, most valuable player of the finals. In order to do the presentation, I would like to invite Mr. Jasper Omar, the General Secretary of FFSL, to join with us on stage to give away the most valuable player of the finals. And the winner of this title goes to Mohamed Fazal of Colombo FC. Number seven of uh, Kilambo FC, uh, Mohamed Faza walks away with a gift voucher worth 30,000 rupees as the most valuable player of the finals. Let's all put our hands together to Mohamed Faza from Kilambo FC, the most valuable player of the finals. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Jasper Omar, General Secretary of the Football Federation of Sri Lanka for joining with us on stage. Next, we'll be presenting the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020 
medals for the runner-up team. Ladies and gentlemen, the runner-up of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020 goes to Blue Eagles SC. In order to present the award, I would like to invite the Managing Director of Ebony Holdings PLC, Mr. Razin Rahim, to join with us on stage. Let's all make some noise uh, as we have uh, the entire team uh, from Blue Eagles SC walking up on stage. Let's all put our hands together. The runners-up of the uh, Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020. The team gave out their best here at the finals. It was not an easy task to be up on the test ground, giving their very best. And they took on with the, the uh, Colombo FC. Nevertheless, great work by the entire team of Blue Eagles SC. We are currently witnessing the runner-up team of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020, the Blue Eagles SC. Once again, a big round of applause to the runner-up of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020, Blue Eagles SC. Let's all put our hands together one more time. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Razin Rahim, the Managing Director of Ebony Holdings PLC, for joining with us on stage. Next, I would like to invite uh, the FFSL President, Mr. Andre De Silva, to give away the club grant for the runner-up team worth 1.5 million rupees. I would like to invite the captain of the team of Blue Eagles SC to join with us on stage as they'll be awarded with the club grant as a runner-up for the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020 a cash prize of 1.5 million rupees. Let's all put our hands together to the captain of Blue Eagles SC. Congratulations to the team and thank you very much uh, to the FFSL president, Mr. Andre De Silva. Next we'll be awarding another important title this evening here at the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020 and that is undoubtedly the most valuable player of the tournament. In order to present this award, I would like to invite the technical director, Goom, head coach of national team, Mr. Amir Alajik, to join with us on stage. The most valuable player of the tournament is awarded to none other than Kavindu Ishan from Blue Eagles SC. And number seven uh, from Blue Eagles SC, the most valuable player of the tournament, Kavindu Ishan. The ground of applause coming in for Kavindu Ishan in number 7 from Blue Eagles SC, the most valuable player of the tournament. Thank you very much. Well, that was been awarded by the Technical Director Kum, Head Coach of the National Team, Mr. Amir. Thank you very much for joining with us on stage. 
as we continue with uh, two more titles to be presented this evening on this very stage. But of course, in order to do the best, the best, I would like to invite none other than Honorable Dr. Sarat Virasekhar, President of FFSL and State Minister for Provincial Councils and Local Government Affairs, to join with us on stage to give away the next set of awards. The Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020, the champions this evening goes to Colombo FC. <laughs> Big round of applause to Colombo FC, the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020 champions. Let's keep our applause coming in as they are the champions this evening. Let's all appreciate their hard work on this very ground. It was not an easy journey. They are of course the champions of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020, Colombo FC. I would like to invite the chairman of Ebony Holdings uh, to join with us, uh, Mr. Razmi Rahim, who will be joining with the minister to give away the club grant for the champion team this evening. I would like to invite once again the chairman of Ebony Holdings, Razmi Rahim, together with the honorable minister to join with us on stage to give away the club grant for the champion team worth 1.8 million rupees. I would like to invite the captain. I would also like to invite the president of the Football Federation of uh, Sri Lanka to join with us on stage. Can we have the captain of uh, the champion team, Colombo, uh, to join with us on stage? Let's all put our hands together. They walk away with the club grant for the championship of 1.8 million rupees this evening. Thank you very much. It's time for us to give away the most awaited trophy this evening. The presentation of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020 to the championship team. I would like to invite our entire dignitaries to join with us on stage to give away the championship trophy. All dignitaries, please join with us on stage. Can we have the entire team on stage? The champions this evening of the Vantage FFSL President's Cup 2020, Colombo FC.